Welcome to Analytic Yenna's video tutorial series on elemental analysis of edible oils and fats by UV Vis Spectroscopy. You're watching the second episode, giving insights on device configuration and measurement. Make sure to check out the other episodes as well on our Analytic Yenna YouTube channel. Before starting with the UV Vis measurements, we will fill up the qubits with the corresponding solutions, ISOC 10 as reference and oil ISOC 10 solution as sample. Make sure you're using parts qubits, otherwise you won't detect the absorption in the UV region. If you're using more than one qubit, verify the transmission properties and use only qubits which have a similar transmission profile. Once you have your qubits ready, wash them with the corresponding solution. Repeat this step three times. By doing this, we secure the removal of any contamination in the inside of the qubits. Fill the qubits with the target solution and be careful not to spill. We will turn on the spectrophotometer and the operating software. For optimal conditions, the radiation source of the spectrophotometer needs to warm up. This takes around 30 to 60 minutes. Then we start the software, log in and verify the connection. In the software, we enter the model photometry and define the wavelength at which the absorbance will be measured. In this case, 269 and 465 nanometers. Select Evaluation menu and write in the Dobai formula. This should contain the absorbance at 465 nanometers divided by the absorbance at 269 nanometers. Jump then to Sample Sequence tab and go to Create Sample Table. This should contain one reference, in this case ISOC 10, and your samples. In our case, we will only measure the oil ISOC 10 solution as an example. We enter then the sample name in the sample table. Here you can also add the sample weight for the documentation. Verify your settings and confirm. Now we will start with the measurements. First, we will measure the reference, then the sample, and that's it. After finishing, don't forget to remove the qubit from the sample chamber. The measured data is then displayed. You can quickly evaluate the oil based on the obtained dough by value. Corresponding carotene values can be easily calculated on the absorbance at 465 nanometers. Before you continue, please remember to save your data or pre-select the autosave mode before you start your measurement. If the recorded values are not in line with your expectations, you can always record a full spectrum to verify if there was any trouble during the preparation or in the doughboy measurement itself. At the end of the measurements, the qubits are washed with ISOC 10 and distilled water. Dry them under an air or argon stream. The remaining ISOC 10 and oil ISOC 10 solution should be disposed according to EHS regulation and the guidelines in your laboratory. After cleaning the cuvettes and disposing the solvent, don't forget to close your session in the software and shut down the spectrophotometer. In case you forget to save the data, don't worry, we've got your back. Our software saves each and every measurement if you have selected 
the automatic storage option. So make sure you choose this option in the software. The current procedure is not for palm oil only. It can be directly applied to other edible oils, which are rich in carotenes. This includes the easy sample preparation and the measuring methods. Among the most prominent oils with carotenes are olive and avocado oil. UVVIS allows analysis of further parameters to warranty quality in your oil process. For example, fatty acid content, peroxide value, K factor, saponification number, iodine value, and even chlorophyll content. We hope you were able to gain some insights and useful information which make your oil analysis much more efficient.